They've been in the news for years. Asian carp, the invasive species threatening to destroy our state's fishing industry if they make their way into the Great Lakes. It's a topic that costs you money. Five billion dollars in taxpayer, this is just a fish, right? Five billion dollars in taxpayer money every year going towards control and prevention of an invasive species that is threatening the Great Lakes. James Clark of the Shedd Aquarium was in our newsroom this morning to explain why the fish is dangerous to our ecosystem and what is being done to try and prevent it. They are actually a beautiful designed fish for what they do. I mean, they're very efficient at eating. It's what they were designed to do to eat the plankton. Uh, unfortunately, that aspect of their natural behavior is what's detrimental to our commercial fishery and recreational fisheries because they eat all the plankton in the water which is a lot of times what makes the water green um, when they go through and the, the gill rakers that they have the filaments off their gills that filter out that plankton um, is very efficient and so pretty much they'll just devastate the nurseries for uh, perch and lake whitefish because there'll be nothing for the baby uh, commercial fish to eat a lot of people I've talked to often think that well, they eat the, the commercial fish and it's no they don't they actually want nothing to do with them and won't even I, I go after them or anything it's part of the reason why they're a, not a really good sport fishery because these guys, they just filter the water. They're not going to go after a bait that, or a lure that you have on the end of your fishing line. People do eat them. Uh, Whether they're native to, they're a staple of the diet. They just, they're not as part of the American palate. Um, they're a little uh, gamey or fishy as opposed to the, uh, the more of the blander or sweeter flavor of, say, a perch or a lake whitefish. There's a... Uh, uh, efforts to in increase or expedite the studies on how to help control these. Um, we are working, the Shed Aquarium does work with our partners in uh, finding the long-term solution to keeping these guys out of the Great Lakes because it's with any invasive species, once they get in, you're not going to get them out. I mean, they're pretty much there to stay. There are several possibilities. There's physical barriers that allow them not to get through. There's like the, electro, uh, the electrical barrier where they can't pass through that because of their particular uh, life history. And there's also chemical barriers that could be used to prevent them from getting through as well. They could devastate the, the Great Lakes regions and it's, once they get into one, they'll probably get into all five. And so it's a, it's a pretty important issue to keep, try and keep these guys out as best we can. Mm. Wow, well, a lot no, more to know about that. You can learn more about conservation in the Great Lakes region. We have a link at woodtv.com. News 8 at 6 is next.